Good morning, everyone. We are at a park, and uh, we're supposed to go diving today, but uh, got proposed postponed until tomorrow. So <clears throat> we figured run some errands and stop at a park, do a little bit of tech detecting. And I did find a 14 karat uh, ring with a blue sapphire heart stone in it. Uh, I'll put a picture up on it. Um, don't know if we're gonna get as lucky at the same park as we did last time we were here, um, but uh, eh, we'll see what we can find. Gear is all muddy from digging in the rain up at the family ranch, you know. Um, but we are gonna be running the Garrett's AT Max with the cordless <coughs> earphones on and the T-handle shovel and with a white spin pointer and a Garrett carrot as a backup. So wife is with me. She's gonna walk the park as I detect for an hour and uh, then we'll go back to the house and uh, then it's off to the brewery. So, all right, wish us luck. Hopefully we find something cool. Chadwick, thanks for the coffee. Appreciate the gift cards so my wife and I can get some coffee. Glad we were able to find uh, your dog tag in the park and being able to get a hold of you and mail it back to you. So I'm glad you got that back. Cheers. <laughs> ah, fuck the battery's going dead on that. Something else. Let's see. Oh, 2000. Oh, more. <sighs> Another diamond penny. A D battery. <laughs> Quarter. <clears throat> a penny and a quarter. <laughs> I'm ah, it sounds like it's right there. Oh, so that quarter there is. Another signal, a penny, and that was it. <clears throat> oh, it's actually not a pull tab, it's actually a nickel. So that hunt took a longer than expected. It was actually a couple hours, but uh, we managed to uh, dig a lot of trash out of the park, clean up the park a little bit. And we ended up picking it up about uh, four bucks and change, quarters, dimes, nickels, bunch of pennies. Um, also found a dog tag. I don't believe this one is that old. It's actually, <clears throat> see if I can focus on this. My apologies. 2018 so there's the the dog tag we got out of the park but uh good morning everybody and we are in bellevue washington we're at a park 
and we're gonna do a little bit of detecting. I uh, helped somebody out by running them to their appointment this morning and I got three hours to kill. And so we're gonna be doing a little bit of detecting here at the park. Now we did go online and uh, looked and there was no rules saying you could not metal detect here. And so we should be okay detecting. Uh, it's still dark, it's about 7.20 in the morning. Uh, so we're just gonna be careful before we blindly reach into the grass so we don't uh, get poked by a dirty needle or anything because there's a little bit of uh, a caution to that at some of these uh, parks. So hopefully we can find something interesting uh, our time here, so wish us luck. Kind of neat. Oh, this is fucking gross. Oh, no, this is probably not going to work. <sighs> oh, my God. The ducks are kind of cleaning the grass, eating their breakfast. Strong 80, close to surface. Let's see if it's just on the grass. Hold on a second. There's more. Was that it? That was it. They looked copper, but they were too big to be a penny. What the hell? Huh. There's five of them, and I don't know what they are. They're coins, they look copper. Let me see. It was a strong 80 signal right below the surface. Okay, here we are. We're down here at the park. Looks like a nice little spot. Let's see if we can find something cool. Did you follow me from the last park I was at, huh? Oh, here comes your girlfriend. Huh? Did you follow me from the last park? There was a lot of ducks at the last park. I'm wondering if you guys were there watching me and you, you decided to follow me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. But you sure did waddle up to me pretty quick until you're like, oh, this guy doesn't have any food. He's a deadbeat. All right, have a good little swim. <laughs> waddle, waddle, waddle. Okay, we've concluded our little metal detecting hunt at this park. Here's the trash. I don't want to dump it out because there's little nails in here. I didn't want little kids to step on the nails. All kinds of little garbage right in there. Pull taps, pop cans, scrap metal. You know, I know it's not a good uh, visualization of, uh, you know, all the trash, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it first. We're going to recycle the cans in the can section, and then we're going to dump all the other stuff out. So what I ended up picking up today is 
we found someone's key. We had a bunch of clad, but I ended up pulling out five of these tokens. Now these tokens have got like a squirrel head on them or something. Some kind of animal head on them. And on the back they say no cash value, non-refundable, and it looks like it's Cinemark, whatever Cinemark is at. And it is the best seat in town. So that's where those tokens were. There's five of them that were in a hole. It's a little token spill. So here we are. Uh, GoPro battery died, but we did a little bit of detecting. And the ducks didn't like the last park either, so they followed me to this park. So we both were detecting here for a little bit. The ducks and uh, me so and now I'm gonna go home so hopefully the ducks will stay here and not follow me home Let's see if I can focus on them a little better <laughs> two of them came up and wanted food Let's see if they'll come up to me I wish I brought bread <laughs> Nope, they're going to hang back. Okay, so that's pretty much going to be the end. Oh, here's two more. Two more landed. Two more from the last park I was at. So that's been another episode of Cooper's MT Lifestyle. We went out and we did some metal detecting at three different parks, uh, two different days. Uh, total, probably about six hours total between all three hunts. And fortunately, we didn't find any silver gold. Um, it would be awesome if we could find silver gold every time we go out metal detecting, but it's not always like that. But we did help clean up the parks. And um, honestly, it's get out, it's nice to get out and enjoy nature and not be stuck in the house all the time and watching TV. Uh, so we did. We enjoyed our days off by getting out and doing a little bit of treasure hunting and cleaning up the park in the process. So with that being said, I have another bottle from my box of overflow bottles because my cases, my display cases are full. So this one right here is an ink bottle. And on the bottom, it says Sanford's 17. And I don't know if we can focus in on that or not, but uh, I already have a few of these bottles and I wanted to uh, give this one uh, to a fan. So if you like vintage bottles, here is a vintage ink bottle. I don't know exactly how old it is. You'll, you'll have to do research on it. But same deal as last time. In the comment section, the first person that wants this bottle, that types it into the comment section, I'll get with you and we'll send it out to your address. So that was another episode of Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle. And just remember, uh, I can enjoy life. I'm going out and, and pursuing my hobbies. And if I can do it, even with a disability, you can do it too. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the next episode.